the big three automakers are going to lose $250 million of profit per day that the UAW strike goes on and shuts down all of their production. That is huge. And our top story of the day is get ready to pay even more for your latest new car. Listen, the UAW auto strike has uh, good intentions, I guess to say, for that, but it's going to end up costing you and me and everybody else in the long run if they want to buy an American car. Now listen, my name is Christopher Yule, and we cover the biggest headlines of the day and what the AI trading data says about them. And if you're interested in that too, be sure to definitely hit the subscribe button down below and get ready to start trading with AI today. Head to ovtlyr.com to see why outliers win. Now, Detroit auto giants real as UAW strikes bite hard. I mean, going through this article, I was reading it and I saw something that was crazy. They're basically about to lose 250, let me rephrase that. They're basically about to lose $250 million of lost profit per day. The big three automakers are going to lose $250 million of profit per day that the UAW uh, strike goes on and shuts down all of their production. That is huge. I can't believe it. But it is going to eventually make all of our cars cost more because what they're saying here is that Detroit automakers unionized labor costs are about $66 an hour, right? They're starting right now at about $66 an hour. That compares to 45 at Tesla and 55 for Asian auto workers. And that includes the, the wages and benefits. This is all rolled in, right? This is not like the average hourly wage. But if they hit the demands that the UAW workers have set out, we're looking at $136 an hour, $136 an hour. So you're telling me that the cost for the labor to produce my car more than doubled from $66 an hour to $136 an hour? Good gravy. I mean, it makes total sense as to why cars are about to start costing so much more. And think about it this way, right? Going back in the pandemic, we saw some of the absolute worst dealer markups, the worst greedy, ugly, nasty dealer tactics out there. I mean, we're talking about used car prices. At least this is what I saw. I was shopping for a Tesla at the time, and the used prices for Teslas were actually higher than a new price for a Tesla. But it was because you could get a used car right away. And so, of course, they added a premium onto that. But it wasn't just the Teslas out there, right? I found a couple examples, and it was just egregious, right? This one right here was a 2021 Mustang Shelby GT500. Already cost $100,000, 96,990. And then they threw a $25,000 market adjustment on top of that. So we're looking at $121,000 for a Mustang. $121,000 right? A 25% dealer markup. And I'm sure that there are huge markups even higher than that. And this is what we're going to be looking for. This is what we're going to be looking at, at the regular price once the UAW workers get their demands. And listen, I don't like where this is headed. In fact, I was uh, talking to my dad and he, he bought his truck in 2019. It's a GMC 1500. He went to the state fair and uh, he saw the, the truck tailgate where it folds down in two different places. And he's like, I have to have that truck, right? He hadn't bought a new truck in, I don't know, six, eight years at that point. So he's like, I got to go get this truck. And that truck, when he bought it was $43,000. And that was actually expensive at the time. In 2019, $43,000 was pretty expensive for that truck. And now looking at that exact same truck today, $64,000. That exact same truck today, I went and priced it to show you, $64,000. So it's nearly 50% higher to buy the exact same truck as it was four years ago. This is unsustainable. But then on top of that, we want to double our labor costs. Yeah, whatever you're paying for a car right now is about to be the best price you've ever paid because it's about to get a hell of a lot more expensive. And looking at the... AI trading data for GM, you can actually see we got a sell signal on September 25th, so just a couple days ago. That tells me right there that we have not even begun to see how bad the workers are actually going to be holding the companies hostage 
because the AI trading data is showing us right here that it's about to get a hell of a lot worse. So if you want to get access to this data, go to ovtlyr.com to see why outliers win. Now let's go see what the comments are saying about this, right? Detroit automakers are going up from $66 an hour up to $136 an hour. Absolutely crazy. And let's see here. Yeah, they're done, right? That includes the benefits with this as well. It's not just the the hourly uh, wage there, and you have to include the benefits if you're looking at it. If you're looking at it from a, a a holistic perspective, people are allowed to ask for a fair price. If the company can't do it, then they should close up shop. Well, I guess that means that we're about to have three less automakers out there. And I saw, I heard something yesterday that the CEO compensation between the the CEOs and the lowest paid workers is 300x. So the CEOs of Ford. Uh, GM and Stellantis, uh, which is the Chrysler uh, company there, is looking at 300 times higher than what the UAW workers are making out on the assembly line. So I can understand where they're coming from, but they want to have a 40% price. Uh, they want to have a 40% hourly wage increase in addition to a four day work week. Listen, this is not sustainable. This is not going to happen. But it's definitely a negotiation tactic, right? Maybe they'll be happy with a 10% increase. And uh, maybe instead of working 50 hours a week, they can go back to 40. Maybe that's the ultimate end goal. But right now, a 40% increase, a 32-hour work week, and the fact that prices are, are, are the, the labor cost is set to more than double. Yeah, this is not sustainable for the auto industry. And if you like this video, YouTube thinks you're going to love one of these two. Thanks for tuning in today's Outlier Live. And we'll see you on the next episode.